what is Porson Reproductive and Respiratory Syndrome, otherwise known as PERS? Well, it was first isolated and classified as an artery virus as recently as 1991, but was introduced to the U.S. in the 1980s. At that time, it was called the Mystery Swine Disease or Blue Ear Disease, due to the fact that it caused the ear to turn a blue color and in severe cases caused death. The main reason PERS is of concern is because it causes reproductive failure in breeding stock and respiratory tract illness in young pigs, such as weaning and finishing pigs. This disease currently costs the in swine industry an estimated $640 million to $1 billion annually. The reason PERS is so deadly is because it has a particular affinity for the macrophages found in the lungs. While the macrophages in the lungs defend against invading viruses, they do not defend against PERS. This allows the virus to multiply, which in turn kills about 40% of the macrophages so other viruses can infect the swine, which are normally defended against. Breeding stock, weaning, and finishing pigs all show clinical signs, but boars rarely show any because they are the carriers. For a large breeding stock, it may take up for, to a year for the whole herd to become infected. The virus seems to spread rapidly, but it may take up to 4 to 5 months for 90% of the sows to become seropositive. Some signs and symptoms. Severe signs and symptoms in adults include reduced appetite, fever, premature farrowing or abortion, death in up to 10% or more of the sows, loss of balance, circling and falling to one side, and in infected litters it causes stillborn, high pre-weaning mortality, mummified piglets, variable sized weak born piglets, edema around the eyes, and then in weaning pigs it causes loss of appetite, obvious failure to thrive, labored or rapid breathing, and or respiratory distress blotchy reddening of the skin, and rough hair coat. There are two types of transmission. The direct route includes transfer of ingestion of infected saliva, urine, milk, colostrum, and feces, and using infected semen via natural or AI. Indirect routes include being fed infected meat, mechanical transport via contaminated needles, farm personnel, transport vehicles, and insects. You can prevent PERS either by vaccination or biosecurity. Vaccines are not widely used due to the fact that PERS has so many different strands and a vaccine that compiles all strands has not yet been made. Most facilities enforce strict biosecurity by means of testing breeding stock, sanitation of transportation trailers, and proper management of needles. So is there a treatment? There is not any current treatment for this disease. The only way to rid the facility of PERS would to be to depopulate, disinfect and sanitize, and then repopulate with PIC pigs which are PERS resistant breeds. So, to recap, Porson Reproductive and Respiratory Syndrome is a high risk virus. It is a devastating disease that infects, slowly multiplies, and then wreaks havoc on a thousand or herd. It costs the swine industry approximately $1 billion due to the loss in litters, sound numbers, and ultimately the number of pigs to market. The best way to prevent this disease is biosecurity. Test semen strands before they enter the facility for AI to prevent transmission to the sow. Have a clean transportation to prevent transmission to the whole herd. The only way to rid the disease is to depopulate, disinfect, and then repopulate with, with PIC pigs. Thank you for listening.